Welcome to Test Leaf training on how to connect to database using JDBC. In this example, we'll tell you how to connect to your database using JDBC and how to integrate with Selenium code. So let's get started. So first you should know what database you are trying to connect. There can be plenty of databases that you can connect through JDBC. In this example, we are going to use MySQL as an example. To connect to a MySQL database, the prerequisite is the MySQL connected Java. So you can add them in the dependency either in the Gradle or Maven. You should have five information to connect to a database. You should know the database server IP, the database port, the database schema name, and followed by the username and password for authentication. Please note that there is a typo in this video, JDBC is not JDC. Okay, let's begin with creating a connection. So let's create a connection object. We'll also create a statement object. And then we will have to go and register the JDBC driver. So we know that this can change depends on the different type of database. So we are going to use reflection here. And followed by, we are going to open the connection. So we have the connection object and then we go driver manager dot get connection using the five information. The three information goes from the database URL and two more from the authentication. If the connection is successful, then we are going to go and get the statement. Using the statement, we'll go and start doing the query. So the statement is on through the connection, and then we are going to write our SQL query now. So to keep it simple, this particular party ID is hard coded right now, but we'll replace the value from the Selenium output. Now we are going to execute the query. The output of the query will be a result set. So we are going to iterate through the result set right now. So we'll print the both the first name and last name. Please remember in the database both are of type varchar. So hence it's equivalent to string. So we are going to get as both of them as a string and print them. Now what you see in this program is a Selenium code which is going to launch and create a lead and we are going to get an output as the lead ID. So we are using the regular expression just to get the lead ID and we will pass this lead ID back to the database connection method. So what we are going to do is we are going to get the database connection class and we are going to call the method using the object. And where we have to pass the lead ID. So we are going to pass as argument string lead ID and replace that data with this. Now, just to understand, the create lead test case is going to go and create the lead ID and call the database as an output, and which is going to give me the return of the first name and last name as expected. 